Hey MCA, John here. I'm in my den this afternoon and just wanted to provide our weekly coronavirus uh, MCA update, let you know kind of what we're thinking and how things are developing. So I want to remind you that our ministry is not shut down. In fact, uh, despite the fact that we're not meeting together on Sundays, uh, we're still going full steam ahead pursuing the mission that God has given us. So um, along with that, I want to remind you that God is at work. <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we wouldn't choose this crisis, we wouldn't choose these challenges, but we trust in the sovereign hand of our God. In fact, uh, in Job chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, Shall we receive good from the hand of God and not receive the bad? And so we trust in the Lord every step along the way. So listen, we are continuing to take proactive measures to ensure the well-being of both our congregation and and our community. And so we're monitoring the situation closely surrounding COVID-19. So our decision to not gather on Sundays is in accordance with recommendations from the White House, the CDC, and of course, State of Ohio Department of Health. But more importantly than all of that, we are seeking the Lord. We are seeking wisdom and direction for MCA during this time. And so we're going to keep you informed as we move forward and as decisions are made regarding our programs and activities and events and of course our worship services. For the time being, we will continue with our online Sunday morning worship services. So a couple items of interest for you today. Uh, we will be observing a day of fasting tomorrow, Thursday, April 30th. So I would invite you into that. You can look for a live video from me tomorrow with a little bit of teaching and an encouragement on fasting. So I hope you would join us in that. Secondly, our online worship services that I mentioned a moment ago. Well, Sunday, we had technical difficulties. <laughs> um, and for that, we apologize. Uh, you know, I, I'm committed to streaming live on Sunday mornings, and with that comes certain risks. Um, so our plan for this coming Sunday, May 3rd, is to do a Facebook Live stream at 10 a.m. So please note, we will also, if the technology works perfectly, we will also be live streaming simultaneously on our YouTube channel. So we will be doing a, li a, a live stream. It will go out on both Facebook Live and our YouTube stream. So uh, you should be able to choose the platform that you prefer. Whichever one works best for you. I like the community aspect a little better on Facebook, so I might encourage you, if you're part of Facebook and you, you can do that, go there um, and you can watch it, but you can also check it out on YouTube. And of course, as always, you can listen to our podcasts uh, on our website after the fact. Um, in fact, we're posting the videos there as well. So if you're not able to tune in live, you can always access our teaching content uh, on mcachurch.org. Uh, just click on the media tab and then messages. And so you'll find the podcast there as well as those video links. So please tune in on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Uh, another item of interest is this Sunday, we're going to be observing communion together. And so please make arrangements for those in your household to have the bread and the juice. And then finally, uh, our director of outreach, Nick Mast, has designed some uh, new MCA t-shirts. And so we're gonna be selling those this spring and are excited about that. We'll have more details on how to order those shirts coming very soon. So some action steps for you. Uh, the first is to fast and pray. So join us tomorrow on Thursday, April 30th for a day of fasting. And we're gonna be praying for our world and seeking the face of God. We're gonna be praying for wisdom as things reopen. We're gonna be praying for students and teachers as they finish the school year. We're gonna be praying for healthcare workers on the front lines. We're gonna be praying for our leaders. We're gonna be praying for strong hearts and homes. We're gonna be praying for opportunities to share the life-giving power of Jesus with the world. So I hope that you'll join in tomorrow as we observe a day of fasting, seeking the Lord and praying for our world. So secondly, uh, connect. Please talk with others in your core group and stay connected to uh, those in your community, those that, that you're doing life with. Make, make phone calls, do FaceTime, try out Zoom. Uh, you know, and, and also, would you share with me the prayer concerns you have? Tomorrow especially, I'm going to be dedicating a, a chunk of time and I would love to uh, intercede on your behalf to lift up those prayer requests to the Lord. I don't need to share them with anybody else. I'd be glad to keep it private. But if you have a, a need, a prayer request, please 
Share that with me and I'd be honored to pray for you this week. Um, and then finally, give thanks. You know, in, in all of this crisis, don't lose sight of the fact that God is good and that he deserves our praise, our adoration, our appreciation, and our gratitude. So give thanks to the Lord, just as the psalmist says in Psalm 136, 1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Well, it's great to stay connected with you. Uh, you can stay up to date on all of these uh, updates on our uh, webpage dedicated mcachurch.org slash coronavirus. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you and God bless you.